Hey team, in this video we're going to be discussing the sub 5 minute mile. And right now I'm currently working on a course for athletes that are trying to run under the for under that five minute mile barrier. And it's not an easy thing to do. I mean, you really have to be immersed into what you're doing in order to run four consecutive laps under 75 seconds per quarter. And it takes time. It takes a, a, a great deal of patience. Uh, you can't, there's, there's no way in the world of rushing the process in order to become a sub five minute miler. And I'm gonna be going pretty in depth with this course. Uh, we're gonna be discussing the types of workouts you really need to be thinking about, uh, the paces of the workouts you need to be doing, the distance of the workouts um, off the roads uh, or off the track that you need to really be focusing on, and how much mileage, uh, kilometers, how, much, how many miles per week you need to be really thinking about. Uh, you know, when I, my brother talked me into coming out for track and field when I was in high school, so I got very uh, excited about the mile. And by the time I graduated from high school, I had run 425 for the mile. Uh, it was probably the best event that I ran. I ran 425, uh, 946 for two miles, and two flat for 800 meters. And so I understand um, how difficult breaking the five minute mile barrier is. Um, my current best for the all for the complete mile, the 1,609 meters, is four minutes and 22 seconds. So probably around 417, 416 for the for the 1,600 meters. Uh, so I understand. I understand uh, the the complexity of being able to run those four laps at a minimum of 74 to 75 seconds per lap. And again, you really have to become very efficient at being able to clear lactic acid fashion that's building up as you're racing. You have to stay con in control. You have to stay relaxed as you possibly can. Um, so to break a sub five minute mile, uh, it's not about the mileage you're doing, okay? There's a lot of athletes, and I got caught up in it, in it as well, that focus a lot of their attention on volume. You can be running far too many miles, far too slow, and never break a five minute mile. So you have to get zeroed in and, and locked in on quality over the qual quantity that you're doing. You know, if, if you're doing 95% of your, your weekly mileage at seven minute mile pace, breaking five minutes for the mile isn't gonna be as um, easy as you want it to be. You have to get accustomed to running well below five minute mile pace so you can get 74 to 75 seconds each one of those you know stay consistent on that pace when you're racing and to be able to really close hard uh, you know preferably at around a 71 or 72 on that last lap the weakest part of that race for most athletes and i understand this because i i really had to really zero in on it is that third lap that is the lap where most athletes get the weakest mentally and that is where you want to really attack you definitely do not want to go out far too fast in that first lap. So you want to be, you know, control your pacing, control your aggressiveness early on. But when you get to that third lap, that's when you really need to make your move, especially when you're um, at 600 meters out from the rate, from the finish line. That's where I started to really make my move. I, I made my move at 600 meters started to really push the pace hard, throw in a really hard surge at 600 meters out because everybody's waiting until the 400 meter with, with one lap to go to make their move. You don't wanna wait until that particular point in the race. So think about pacing, think about quality over quantity, focus on uh, all the other fundamentals we talk about. I'm telling you, when you're doing workouts, if you have the opportunity to do a ice bath after each one of your, your hard anaerobic workouts so you can flush out that, that lactic acid and really replenish um, and, and help your muscles recover from those workouts, do so because your competition more than likely isn't doing that. I talk a lot about mental training. You have to see it before it becomes a reality in your life. What, regardless of what it is you're trying to do, whether it's breaking a five minute mile, um, working towards some some goal that you have a weight goal or maybe you're trying to lose weight maybe you're trying to start a business maybe you're trying to get that car that you want whatever it is you have to see it in your mind first it has to become a reality there before it becomes a reality in real life 
this is a tactic that a lot of athletes are not focusing on the mental training part of your preparation to break a five minute mile you have got to be strong mentally i think you have to be stronger mentally than you have to be physically in order to break a five minute mile it's not an easy task especially if you're not somebody that has a ton of talent you know genetic talent i wasn't one of those types of athletes i continue to train hard I relied on my work ethic, I relied on my motivation, my, my focus, my drive for what I wanted. And I had to use that particular trait that I had and the minimum amount of talent that I did have in order to run, eventually run 422 for the mile and 425 for 1600 meters when I was in high school. So if you're at say like 530 right now, or maybe you're running 615 for the mile and you really want to run to four, you want to get down to 459. I highly advise checking out this course that um, that I'm working on right now. Um, you can sign down, you sign up down below uh, for to to get on the newsletter. And once I finish the course, which should be in the next month or so, uh, the next few weeks for sure, um, you can uh, you'll be the first to know. So I will definitely be reaching out to my newsletter um, team and make sure that everybody on that is aware of when it's when it's completed. But I definitely don't want this to be a any type of cookie cutter type course. I want athletes that are trying to go under five minutes for the mile to start using leverage, to start working smart rather than harder. Working harder isn't always the answer, especially if you're you're already motivated and, and driven already. So if you're running too many miles too slow, you're you're not doing yourself a, a, a service. You, a, a, you're not you're not getting the most out of your body as you possibly can because you can do much more with less if you're training smarter. And it's not easy to do that because, you know, I was, I'm one of those athletes too. Like I, I felt like, you know, earlier in my career that more mileage was the answer to, for me to break a four, a four minute mile. I wanted to break the four minute mile barrier. So I started running more mileage. It wasn't until I really started dropping my mileage and really started focusing on what counts the most, especially with the mile, because it's such a high anaerobic event. You have to focus on speed. You have to focus on stamina. It's not an endurance event like the mile or like the uh, 10K half marathon and marathon, where you really you still need to focus on speed, but you really have to work on your endurance. You need a combination of all that in the mile, but you definitely need strength stamina and speed in that particular event and you need to be able to throw in those surges in the race and to and especially to be able to make your move when it counts again holding a 75 seconds or 74 to 75 seconds each one of those laps and being able to really close fast um you know in a mile you're gonna have to you may go out in, in 78s the first couple laps and then come you want but if you go out at those paces you want to be able to come back with 71s or 72s so you can really make up for it and still break the five minute mile there are a lot of athletes that have this as their goal and they get very close or they just continue to to miss it and it's a lot of it's just a, a few minute things you have to be changing up in your training in order to eventually get under five minutes and once you do it one time you'll continue to do it it's like when roger banister broke the four minute mile you know people all over the world say man that guy did it, so can I. And it seemed like every, you know, after he broke the four minute mile, it became very, very normal for athletes around the world to go under four minutes. Breaking five minutes for a lot of athletes is their four minute mile. They wanna to get to that 459 or faster. They wanna have a four in front of their PR instead of a five something or a six something. So I really hope, uh, you know, this particular video is, is helpful for you. Um, it's just a brief introduction to what I'll be covering in the the uh, sub five minute mile leader course that I'm making, and I highly recommend if you want to if this is a goal of yours to consider that. Uh, like I said, I'll definitely uh, m ensure that all of my uh, newsletter team members are that are, that signed up for my newsletter and all the people here on the channel are aware of when that that course is finished and launched. But it's not going to be an average course. I'm going to make sure that one, it closes with the 16-week training plan, where we, where you know exactly what you need to be doing on a weekly or daily, weekly and monthly basis leading into your mile. Um, but it's going to be uh, also a, a tutorial course where we're going to have several modules, several lessons in in each one of those modules, where I'm going to be basically coaching you from a distance. 
Um, you know, it's not the same, obviously, being face to face and being on the track with you. But I want you to at least know from an athlete such as myself that's that's been there and done it and understands the complexities of breaking a five minute mile and what it takes. I really hope that uh, this this particular course is going to help take your racing and your training to the next level and you'll be learning a lot from that i'm going to break breaking a five minute mile is not about qua quantity it's about the quality of the workouts you're doing it's how you're setting up your training it's how you're recovering from those workouts and also most importantly how you taper down for your workouts that is very very important so uh, i hope this video in terms of at least giving you some ideas and some um hints of what you really need to be focusing on in order to break a five minute mile, a sub five minute mile has been helpful for you. If there's any other questions or concerns, feel free to leave me a comment below in any, any of my videos. I will definitely reach out to all of you. Uh, as you already know, I wish you all the best and I will talk to you all in the next video.